Ladies and gentlemen, children of the interwebs, it's Sebastian Envy, the strong style, nerd strong style, cinephile, a sad strong style cinephile. With the recent announcement that Swamp Thing is dead, Swamp Thing is cancelled after a shortened, uh, it was already a shortened first season, uh, from 13 episodes to 10 episodes, it's, it's, it's done. Swamp Thing is dead, cancelled by the higher-ups um, over at uh, DC who handle that sort of thing, so let's kick about that for a few minutes. Now, once the episode count was dialed back from 13 episodes to 10 episodes, there was some scuttlebutt that it was uh, creative, um, issues related to creative things. We know that with the AT&T Time Warner merger that the people coming in after the merger were not as high on Swamp Thing already, so it had that working against it, and now it comes down to just purely financials, dollars and cents. Um, Swamp Thing is filmed in on, on location in Wilmington, North Carolina, and uh, the state offers certain tax breaks, tax incentives. Um, to film there. Um, a lot of cities and states and such should do this because um, productions bring just massive amounts of people and money and economic stimulus into the areas that they shoot in. That's just fact. The budget for the first season of Swamp Thing was going to cost $85 million with an understanding that $40 million of that would come from Wilmington and that's kind of where some of the issues started or where some speculation of that being where the issues started and um, one of the notes in the Hunter Ingram story for the Star News um, over there in Wilmington is uh, one of the things he noted and there was a widely circulated social media post uh, today I questioned if the cancellation was due to the state making an error in how much it would give back to the production offering up more grant funding then was allowed to give based on the program's parameters because the program's funding cap for a TV series is 12 million. That's a far cry from the 40 million of the 40 of the 85 million dollar series that um, the folks at Warner, you know, thought they were going to get for the series. Um, it's just it's dollars and cents is really what killed this show, and who knows if it was a miscommunication or not, or if that's just people trying to save face. Um, things like that surprisingly happen with multi-million dollar productions and companies, stuff like that. I'm a huge So they chose to end it after a strong, positively reviewed first episode. I know, I loved it. I was looking forward to the second episode. It's done. It's gone. It's finito. It sucks for the cast, the crew involved. It sucks for the city. It sucks for the people who were employed by the production. Um, but you know, these things happen. I mean, it had money working against it, it had um, higher-ups who weren't high on one thing working against it. it. It sucks. It was a good show. It had its own thing. It had its own feel. It was towing its own line. So we kind of wonder, going forth, are people going to watch it? Are people going to further invest in it, knowing that it's it's ending, that it's not it's ending before it even gets out the gate? Um, it makes me wonder about the future of the subscription service itself. I love it for the comics. When it first launched, it didn't really have as much comic content as it should have when it launched, but now they've kind of fixed it. And there's tons, I read tons and tons of comics on there. I love the app for that. Um, we don't know what the thinking is on Doom Patrol. I don't believe that's been announced to have a second season. We know some Titan second season is filming in Toronto, and that didn't even really have a strong first season. There's, there's potential there, um, but I don't think it was strong enough to necessarily warrant a second season as quickly as they announced it. Now, Doom Patrol actually get a second season. So I'm thing I was anxious to kind of see where things go. Now, I'm not going to get that chance in a second season anyway. So, I mean, are they going to... Is this going to make the first season wrap on a cliffhanger um, with no resolution? That would suck. Or they, do they have time to, and with the footage shot, cut some kind of finality to it? Who knows? Um, it sucks. People are speculating on creative. Um, issues or negative reviews or this or that is purely just at this point from what we've been told or what's been reported dollars and cents that's just what it is um so yeah uh, those are some of my thoughts on it
about the suckiness of Swamp Thing getting cancelled. What do you guys out there think? More importantly, let me know in the comments below. My social media um, is below as well. And just want to make sure we give a shout out to Hunter Ingram with Star News in Wilmington. He dug into some of the money issues and, and gave us some information on that. So a big shout out to that guy for his reporting. And it just sucks. That small thing is dead. But that's where we are right now. So let's geek.